Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a variation of a similar move, but it's a great move that you can add to your game to help you create space and help you score more points. Now, this style of move is a move that you'll see some of the greatest scores in the NBA. They do. This is their go-to move when the game is on the line. You'll see this. You'll see a lot of players turn to this move because it's a kind of awkward move that is difficult for defenders to react to or react correctly to and it leads to being able to get an open shot and to actually create the space that you need to even get that shot now of course it's on you to make the shot but that's why we work on it so let's get into it all right so the move we're going to be talking about today is the sidestep now there are two main variations that you're going to see of this move and i recommend you um, practice both so that you can do both because if you can be able to pull out both of these moves whenever you want it makes you even more effective so the first one we'll have is kind of the one that you saw kyrie hit against steph curry years ago um but basically it's what you're doing is you kind of have this hang dribble the ball is hanging in your hand and then you're taking that side step, all right? So if you're a right-handed player, you're doing this move in your strong hand. Of course, you can also do it um, with your weak hand, but I would say uh, both of these moves, to actually execute them properly, how the guys in the NBA do it, they always do it to their strong side. So the first part of it, the first variation is kind of a hang dribble into a quick side step. So the reason why this is effective is because a lot of times, like for instance, guys like Kyrie, he may hang dribble it and then cross you over, hang dribble, do some in and out cross, hang dribble, blow by you. So whenever he's doing this hang dribble, you're expecting him to immediately attack at you. Because, I mean, we know Kyrie's a demon when he's attacking, getting to that rim, great finisher. Um, I mean, he's pretty difficult to stop. And other NBA play players, are also tough to stop when they get that hang dribble, head of steam, blow by you. The hang dribble with the scissors move variation is one of the most powerful, simple moves that you can do to blow by defenders. So it's no reason why this move works so well because it's actually kind of a counter off of that main scissors attack move. Now, whenever this happens, defenders are usually ready for you to come directly at them or drive at them and then instead of doing that, you take a side step. So remember defenders right now, he's thinking about going backwards, but you're taking a side step. So not only did he shift back a little, but he also shifted in this angle and you're taking this angle. So you create even more space and then you shoot right out of that. So it's here, boom, and you shoot. Now I will say this is a difficult shot because your footwork if you're a right-handed shooter, you wanna shoot like this, but if you're shooting out of here, you're gonna be shooting like this. So that's gonna require you to kind of shift your body in the air when you are shooting the ball. So first, let's just work on the footwork where you're here, boom. Just take that, practice that, and master the footwork, all right? So that's how I like to break down moves, is break it down into pieces. Um, but because this move, it's, it's simple to do, it's not, it's not easy to make the shot, or, but it's easy to execute the move. So you don't really have to break it down in too many segments like you might have to do with another move. Because essentially all I'm doing here is boom, and then I'm shooting. So before we kind of start practicing that move, let's talk about the other move really quick. Is I'm sure you're very familiar with it. We haven't seen it in a while because Damian Lillard's been injured, but it's his variation of the sidestep. And you'll see other players do this move too, not just Dame, but Dame definitely has made it famous. He's hit numerous game winners with this, with this move. It's definitely his go-to move. Still a sidestep, but instead of hang dribbling and sidestepping, he's pounding and sidestepping at the same time. So that's the little difference here is one, you're hang dribbling and sidestepping. The other one, you're pounding and sidestepping at the same time. Both essentially are doing the same thing they're, they're making your defender react. I would say Dame's move, because he adds the hard dribble and kind of this 
He puts his head down like he's going to attack at you. Sometimes it might make the defender react even more because the whole sound of boom, ball, is just really like, as a human, you react to different things. And I think that's why that move is so effective because it has the, what the regular sidestep move has, but I think it makes the defender react even more. So he's here, boom, sidestep, same type of sidestep. The, the footwork is the same. So boom, and then shooting the shot out of that. So you can see, let me show you in front real quick. So the first variation, you're hang dribbling, sidestepping. The second one, the Dame one, you're boom. So notice the pound, boom, and sidestepping. You also might wanna, for both of these moves, it's not a direct side, it's kinda like a, like an angled side. It's not directly angled, but it's a little angled because you wanna do your best to create as much space as possible. So you're also gonna kinda have a little angle step back to the side. So I would say both of these moves are great moves that will help you create space. The hardest part about these moves is making the shot after them because these are difficult shots to hit, especially with a defender in your face. So you have to practice them. You have to work on them. These guys don't just come out and try these moves just you know, for the first time on the court. They spend hours practicing and mastering these moves. So that's what you have to do. So the first thing I recommend before you start practicing it from the three-point line is practice it close up, maybe around the foul line in between the foul line and the three-point line. And just focus on the footwork, the technique, and slowly move back. So we have the first move here, sidestep. Now the Dame version, boom. And that's what you should do, work on that move until it feels comfortable. If even that's hard for you, move up. Like there's nothing saying you have to start immediately from the three-point line. But eventually you wanna be able to get to the three-point line because if you could stretch the defense with this move, the defense will have to respect you. They'll have to guard you farther out, which will open up a lot of space for you and your teammates. If you found the video helpful and you are looking to take your game to the next level, visit our website, revengebasketball.com or click the first link in the comments. That'll take you to a free training where, where we will help you take your game to the next level. If you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what else you need help with. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.